What's up guys? Welcome to Visualization. Nestor Adriansen here again. Quick question. Are you trying to master DAX? If so, let's keep learning about calculated modifiers. So for today's tutorial, we have all and all selected. So let's do it. Okay, so for today's tutorial, we have three different points here. The first point, we're gonna learn about all as a calculated modifier. Second point here, we're gonna learn about all selected as a calculated modifier. And finally, guys, we also have a nice case. So let's jump into the first point. All right, so now let's learn about all as a calculated modifier. I have right here two important points. The first one, all act as a calculated modifier when used as a filter argument in calculate. So remember guys that the calculate function has two main parts, has the expression and also has the filter arguments, right? So when we use all as part of the filter arguments, all act as a calculate modifier. So really important concept there. Second point here, when all is used as a top level function in a filter argument of calculate, all removes an existing filter instead of creating a new one. And also here we have that the proper name for all could have been remove filter. Next, here we have the syntax. I'm not gonna go into details here because I already created a tutorial about this all function and I'm gonna share with you guys the link so you can check it out. So now let's jump into the next line. All selected as a calculated modifier. Three critical points here. The first one, all selected act as a calculated modifier when used as a top level function in calculate. Really important concept. Second point here, all selected restores the filter context outside of the current visual. Critical concept there as well. And finally, all selected is useful when retrieving the list of values of a table or a column as visible in the current report and considering all and only the filters outside of the current visual. If you guys are confused uh, by these concepts, please bear with me because we have a case and we will look everything there. So we also have right here the all selected syntax. It's very similar to the all function and I'm not gonna go into details either. So now let's go to the next slide. All right, the case. Two questions here. The first question is find the claim percentage for every year since inception. And the second question here is find the claim percentage based on the visible total for the last five years of data available. And also we need to use slicer to filter the last five years. So if you guys are guessing correctly, we are jumping into Power BI Desktop. Let's do that. All right, so here we have the Power BI report. I'm gonna share with you guys this report as well. All right, so quickly, I have right here three different tables. We have the DAX measures table, and we already have a measure there. It's called claims cost. So if you wanna explore real quick, it's basically the sum of the claim cost. There it is. And what else? We have the claims table. You guys might be familiar with this table. I've been using this table for a while for my tutorials. All right, and then finally, we have the calendar table. And of course, if we go to model, we have a relationship here between date and claim date. Let's get started. Let's solve the first question. So for the first question, we want to find the percentage for every single year. So how do we do that? Let's create a new measure, right click here, new measure. And we're gonna call this measure all years cost, okay? Like this. And of course, we're gonna use the calculate function here. For the expression, we're gonna reference the previous measure, which is called claim cost. Like it is. And then right here, what we're gonna do is the following. We're gonna use the all function. Remember guys, the old function removes every single filter that is part of a specific column or table. So we're gonna use the old function here. This is part of the 
filter argument. That's why the old function behaves in that way, okay? And here we're gonna use the dates table or calendar table, right? And we're gonna use year here because we wanna remove any filter that belongs to the year column for the calendar table, of course. So there it is, close parenthesis, I'll enter, close parenthesis, there you go. And we can rearrange this better if we want. Right, so what's happening here? What's happening is the following. So we are removing all the filters that are part of this column, year. So here we have year, right? And we are removing any filters. So the expected result should be just one single value for every single cell right here. Why? Because we are removing all the filters. All right, so let's approve this change and let's see what happens. There you go. And we can also here customize this if we want, just to make this number more readable, okay? We are adding a comma as a thousand separator. Let's drag all your costs here and let's see what happens. Boom, there it is. That's how it works, my friends. So in order to find a percentage, so what we need is basically the division between this number and this number. And we have to do this for every single year. For 2018, for example, this should be 14,610 divided by 297,680. That's how it works. All right, so remember also that instead of using all, we can use remove filters. Do you remember that? Okay, let's do that real quick. So let's go back to this measure. And what we're gonna do here is basically copy the same measure, control C, and we're gonna create a new measure, okay? New measure here, control V, there you go. And of course, we're gonna change the name for this measure, right? And right here, instead of all, we're gonna use remove filters. How about that? And let's see what happens. So we should get the same results. So let's approve this change, okay? So we can do the same thing, select the measure here. And now let's drag this new measure into the table. Let's see what happens. Boom, guys, bingo. We are getting the same results. So basically, we can replace all with remove filters. But remember, we usually use all, okay? Keep that in mind. But this is just an option that you can have as well. All right, so let's keep going here. We need to find the percentage. So let's create a new measure here. Right click, new measure. I'll enter, there you go. We're gonna use the divide function here. Numerator, the numerator should be claim cost. And the denominator should be all years cost. We need to use right here the measure as well. Close parentheses, and let's approve the change. Boom, there you go. So we can do the same thing here. All right, let's drag this new measure into the table and let's see what happens. 100% and we have the percentage for every single year since inception. So guys, we have solved the first question. I have another tutorial about percentages as well. I'm gonna share with you guys the link so you can explore it. All right, so now let's solve the next question. So the next question was to find the percentage for the last five visible years. So let's do that. And of course, we're gonna use the old selected function here. So the first thing that we wanna do here in order to solve the second question is the following. We're gonna create a new measure here. Right click, new measure. We're gonna call this measure all selected years cost. And right here, what we're gonna do is the following. I use a calculate function, very similar to what we did before. 
the measure should be right here claim cost which is the expression for calculate right and right here this is the filter argument right for calculate so we want to use right here the all selected function There you go. So the next thing that we want to do here is select this one right here. And let's drag this new measure into the new table right here. And let's see what happens, okay? Boom. So what's happening here? You might say, hey, this is the same outcome that we got by using the old function. That is correct, but there is a really interesting difference here. So we will figure it out when we use this slicer, okay? So the next step here is to find the percentage, right? So let's do that. So let's create a new measure here. Right click. So we're going to call this new measure all selected claim cost percentage, okay? I'll enter. And we're going to use right here divide the numerator is going to be the same the measure called claim cost right for the denominator we need to use the previous measure that has all selected here okay all selected this one right here and then hit enter and let's see what happens boom there you go same thing here it should be percentage and now let's drag this new measure into the next table right here. There you go. So apparently the results are the same. So nothing happens here. But remember here, the question, if you guys remember, is to find a percentage for the last five years and also based only on visible values. So let's see how this thing works. All right, so remember that the all selected function is a complex function. So what we're doing here is just something basic, but very helpful, my friends. So let's do that and check this out, my friends. Hold down control and let's select the last five years. So what's happening here? Something really interesting, my friends. On the left, we are using just the all function, right? So what's happening here, for example, is we have the claim cost without any issue for these five years, right? So for all years cost, this value right here hasn't changed. So we added a filter here. We added a slicer, right? This is an external slicer, of course, right? So what's happening here, even though I apply right here a filter, this result doesn't change. And the reason is because we are using all as part of the filter argument and the same thing here for remove filters it doesn't change right and also something really interesting here for the percentage so this percentage here is based on the all year cost in all years so that's the reason that we're getting right here 51.36 percent if we take a look at the other table right here on the right that's something that we are expecting here right because we are using all selected. So the result is changing dynamically. So here we have the total, the total years cost just for the five last years. So for the last five years from 2014 up to 2018, the total claim cost is 152,890, right? And that percentage right here is based on that visible total. So guys, this is 100%, for example, and then here we have the percentage for every single year based on the visible total. So that's how it works. That's the main difference. That's why all selected is very helpful. So guys, what do you think? Two powerful functions, all and all selected. Now let's go back to our presentation and let's see what else we have. Guys, that was it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, please give me a thumbs up 
share with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial